Hey, hey. can I get more coffee? Okay. <laughs> I want the song. Well, what do you want to talk about? Uh, you wanted to talk about, um, so you wrote that one on your own, you were talking about earlier, but you're yeah, co-writing, right, co-writing so, now, and, and, you, and you're yeah. like in co-writing. Well, I can talk this, like, uh, songwriting, like, you write, like, serious songs, you think you're, like, saying something, maybe, like, your gospel songs, you're really trying to put something yourself into it, and, like, the Weatherman song, like, sometimes I just do, like, minute-long songs, just to be goofy, to not have to think of, like, something meaningful, just goofy stuff, because I take stuff too serious in my songwriting sometimes, and so, uh, that's like the meter is funny, you know, like it's more where I can do different harmonies and do different things I want to do in my music that I want to play out or represent myself, you know, and that's always fun, you know. I feel like I'm forcing things sometimes when I try to make a song yeah. about something yeah. serious, and, but if I do something funny, it's, it's, it's not forced. It's not forced, and you don't feel so much pressure to like make it something where it can be goofy. And I, I need that. Like, I have a bunch of songs like that that I never play for anyone else. Like, when I had a four track, I had four track stuff. And now, like, I'll take a minute, minute and a half, I'll do some instrument or something, and then just add overdubs and lyrics. And sometimes it's not even lyrics, it's just melodies of voices floating in and out, you know. But that's, that's almost like a sidebar to release pressure for the other stuff that is. I guess just the other stuff. I usually have like a um, a sad part come out even when I'm being funny, like like the cooking show song about the weatherman. It's, it's actually kind of a um, I'm being funny, but there's there's a sadness that, that comes through. But it's it's the decline of this of this guy, and that's what happens to a lot of cooks. <laughs> it's never good. Uh, yeah, there's always going to be something real in it uh, there has to be I mean I can write a song about death being funny you know what I mean like that uh, sea shanty like but then I'll write a gospel song you know uh, goofy gospel song or there's just so many you know but uh, co-writing and talking about how many songs have you co-written um not very many. It's it's hard to find people that want to co-write for me. Um, yeah. uh, I guess I have a small circle of um, connections. This is probably your attitude. I'm just kidding. He's a great attitude. He's gonna edit this part out. I have an attitude like a like a lamprey or a, some kind of parasite. You want to co-write? Yeah. <laughs> I like your melodies and your songs. <laughs> yeah, I co-wrote most of his songs. He's a star. Uh, I've co-written in my life. Uh, usually, like if I co-write more than one song with someone, the first song is always the best. So I really not only write one song with people most of the time. Uh, like your first, the new car smell or something, or your first time with a, uh, yeah, the first date, the first kiss, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and then you dump them. And then you dump them, because, like, hey, you're only going to get one good night out of you, honey. Uh, songwriting, honey, you know. Uh, so, probably, like, I lived in Nashville for four years, minus a day. And uh, I tried co-writing probably in that time with five to ten people. And in Nashville, it was a certain songwriting style for a lot of folks trying to get cut some albums and stuff so there's that shtick to it and it wasn't really my thing uh, but I've written songs that have been on other people's albums like co-written with the artist you know which is cool and uh, but now I'm writing with a friend uh, that I met in Nashville when I first moved there same age same age. he's from uh, out east Jersey and it's the best, uh, like he always had his own band, I had my own band in Nashville and he does his own thing and we didn't talk for years and then we're doing this over email, you know, like uh, it's something, he's a really good lyricist and I love melody and so it's kind of uh, fits together and 
it's made me excited about music again. You know, after bands break up and stuff, I kind of do bands and then get out of it for a while. And like, uh, but I'm really in the writing mode right now. I'm really loving it. It's my highlight in my life. It's like, okay, Tom Petty said something like this, and I'm sure like artists, like when you go out and perform, like when you, f could, that time you connect with the audience and you're there, there's nothing that feels better. You know that high, like we were all together, we created something here, everybody in the room or for you arena. But, uh, and then, okay, that's great, playing live, and then there's being in the studio. It's like when you get that, oh man, that was cool, I didn't plan to do that, but it's there. Oh, that sounds so good. When you get like those moments, there's nothing better. But the best thing is when you finish a song. And then it's, uh, it's like, wow, like that wasn't there, now it's there. And like, because you can play live, do the song a million different ways. You can record a song a million different ways, but you only write the song once. So right now I feel like I'm getting the best of music has to offer, no matter what becomes of these songs, if nobody hears them or if uh, you're singing along right now. Uh, let's sing our weatherman song. <laughs> Uh, uh, but that's what I'm really into the uh, just the making of the music just the being there not trying to do it what are you going to do with these songs I don't know I'm just really into the writing I'm not worried about any of it and it, that feels good I was always in a trajectory this is what I want to do with the band this is what I want writing these songs for this and now I'm like I just love writing, you know, I really love melody, and I'm just really loving diving into this, like, it's been really good for me. The music is really good spiritually, physically, and you can get my yoga, and oh, I'm gonna get, people are going to be writing, yoga is a serious business. It's not. They it's not like serious, it's yoga, just yoga stretching. I need to stretch, you know, been working out, you can tell. Thanks, Steve. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Thank you.